So today we're going to be taking a look back at something extremely interesting. You see, it's actually the day after the five year anniversary since Evil Cluck's original debut on Lagos Island via one specific video. Fun Island, why do villains hate Island Expedition so much? May 6, 2019. Now I know we could have clearly done this on the actual day of May 6, but at the time I did not think about making a look back video based off of this until literally one day later on Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. With all of that being said, it only feels right to look back at this considering it has now been five years and we didn't do anything on the actual island to celebrate, so let's a frickin' go! The important thing that needs to be addressed here is specifically this very message we see in the video. Take a listen. And from there, things only got ugly. This was the official announcement of Operation Legos Island. Like, the first ever Operation Legos Island. This was the very day, at least on May 6th to be specific, that Operation Legos Island officially came into a legitimate existence. Now we can clearly only thank one thing for that. The corruption that take, took place exactly three months prior on February 6, 2019. If this wasn't the case, I don't think Evil Cook would have ever came out with this. And genuinely speaking, I don't think he probably would have ever made his way over here. But granted, have we got into some crazy things with this guy? But it doesn't end there. Heading into the Saturday Stories playlist, dating all the way back to May 18th, 2019, we can see that I made a Saturday Stories revealing the custom party in November 2019 on Legos Island, which of course was Operation Legos Island 2019. Let's have a look back and see how far and correct we actually were about all of this. Hey guys, Lego here. So before we begin this week's Saturday story, um, I just want to let you guys know that right before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know um, the following footage that you guys are about to see and what you're going to be hearing from me throughout this entire video is something that's coming to Lego's Island in November 2019. So, yeah guys. Um... Also, I just want to let you guys know, also before we begin, this um, project that you're going to be hearing right now, what I'm going to be revealing to you guys, has been in the works for the past few weeks. And let me just tell you guys. Uh, so this is uh, when he came up with the name of Operation Lincoln's Island. Okay, so this was the very day that it came up with. Okay, okay. Nice to know. Nice to freaking know. I'm not going to believe what this is. It is going to be so good that you guys are definitely, definitely not going to be able to wait for this. It is going to be that good. Oh, you freaking bet it was. And boy, five years later, it, looking back at this, it makes us realize we did so good. So, so let's see how much we actually got right here and see how much we got wrong. With that said, why am I still here telling you guys this one we could just clearly just get into it right now exactly i want to remember if what i got right and wrong about all of this with that said you guys let's get into this week's saturday story thanks for listening and enjoy the video on may 6 2019 cookie 33 uploaded a video called fun island why do villains hate island expedition so much and in the video, this happened. There was a book called Message to Lego, and here's what it had to say. This is where everything began. Hello, Lego Master 627. I don't like how you are using my enemy's ideas for ESL Loud of Doom. I'll make sure your island ne never lasts three years. See you in April 2017. By Evil Club, which is Cool Kid 33's enemy in. Welcome Village. But that's Which now is uh, in the form of Caleb's Village 3 and 4 respectively. 
Things can really change in five years. That's not all. Now, this story goes even further. And ha! Huh, we're still here five years later, bud! So much that there's a lot to explain. Just watch the act. This is it. No, literally, we are still here five years later. For the most part. The island's currently shut down right now. Still after almost three months, I really do apologize. It will be back. Interesting, Dad. But also, as you can see... Yeah, I should probably stop saying that because the island is currently dead right now. There's another page in the book. It says, P.S. Yes, I have a time machine. ha <laughs> ha ha But that is not it. No. There is a lot more to go with this. After that, I made this comment. Oh, I completely forgot I made this. Let me read it to you. Don't worry. Lagos Island will still be around for its third anniversary in March 2020. We celebrated seven years in Zola's Lab 2. I'll make a custom event based on its plan of getting rid of the island. And yes, this is actually where I got the idea for it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Where do you think it came from? Where, why do you think it's been reappearing ever since? To make this. Then it says, what evil cluck does it know? Also, thank God we already got this year's over with before the shutdown happened. But although, how, how are we were supposed to predict that? Oh, is that the island was untouched for eight months from March 27th to November 3rd, 2017. Technically, if you don't count Lake was out on Halloween, but I still technically was right. So he would have to time travel back to the island's release date, March 25th, 2017. The rule for time travel on Lagos Island is that you can only travel back to the months that the island was active, aka March 2017, November 2017, December 2017. Okay, just for the record, I don't think I needed to actually list literally every single month here. I'm just going to point that out real quick. January 2018, February 2018, March 2018, April 2018, May 2018, June 8, 2018, July 2018, August 2018, September 2018, October 2018, November 2018, December 2018, January 2019, February 2019, which February is when the corruption happened. Yep, and why do you think this came into existence? Uh... March 29th. We literally had that explanation back in Operation Lagos Island 2024, literally just a week before the shutdown. April 2019, and then where we are really, where we are right now in May 2019, then June 2019, which is next month, July 2019. How the heck are we already in May of 2024? It's insane. August 2019, September 2019, and October 2019. Like, good lord, I don't think I needed to list all of that, but good lord, why was I like that? It, I'm glad I'm not like that now, just to clarify. I have gotten way better at writing this type of stuff, but it's still cool to see where this stuff originated. Well, 20, why do you think I'm making this look back video in the first place? Speaking of which, this look back video was never planned. 17. I just made this out of all the spare time I had. Not work, because the island wasn't active. Also, the island expedition is now set to occur in September 2019. And yes, I rescheduled the island expedition, you guys. Look, right after the theme park anniversary, from September 27th to October 4th. Now, this technically occurred from September 30th to October uh, 5th, uh, respectively, so I was just a few days off. Original dates, November 15th through the 29th. Oh yeah, because I remember at the beginning of the year, I originally scheduled that, and yeah, it eventually changed. The fall mini event will- And oh boy, do we have to make a massive schedule change for Legos Island when we get it back. Oh, that's going to be its own episode alone when the welcome back party is over. Be occurring at the same time as the island expedition. Here's the November 2019 schedule. Oh, and no, those two events, the fall event and island expedition, no, those were two separate events. Uh, fall event started the day the medieval party went live. One year of the campsite, November 8th through 11th, Ramble Party 2019, November 18th through December 2nd. Yeah, no, that occurred from November 21st to December 5th. Only question is, when in November will the time travel happen? That explains a lot. But it does not end there. Oh no, dude. We went so much farther. Kukia33 replied saying, November 3rd. Also, he changed the time he's going back to will be in the next Welcome Village episode. And then he also said, AK, the one at 99 right now. Also read the description. And then I said, okay. 
Of course, that obviously means it doesn't end there. There's a lot more. A lot. Yeah, why do you think this video was crazy long in the first place? More. Here's more of the footage we wanted now. Now, technically, yes, we technically did go back to November 3rd, 2017, literally on the first day of Operation Lagos Island, 2019. This has more proof. This says, also, Lego, I changed. I'm traveling back to November 3rd, 2017. On November 3rd, 2019. All of that was correct, as that did end up actually happening in reality. Yes, guys, that's right. November 3rd, 2019. He'll be yes, exactly two years after the island's return. It's only made it the most sense. Now, will we do anything this year to celebrate five years of Operation Lagos Island overall on its original release date? You frickin' bet I will! Time traveling back exactly two years before, which is exactly the day I returned back to the island after eight long months. This honestly could not have been more clever. This is gonna be interesting. But of course, it doesn't end there. Next up, Evil Cluck stated this. Enjoy your freedom, Lego After Lab Doom. June 1st through November 2nd, it will be your last. Yeah, let me rewrite that. Yeah, let me reiterate that. There were a lot of attacks that occurred between July 13th through November 2nd of 2019, respectively. We had all of the attacks during Legos Island Summer 2019. We had the attacks prior to the Medieval Party, the Operation Dome, and the attacks that occurred during the Halloween Party. So yeah, this life is a straight up lie. But of course, Evil Club. Next, our right, guys, next part of this is another true fact regarding that. Meaning, you can see that this is actually going to happen. So let me read it to you. I just noticed something Lego said. The rule for time travel is only when the island was is active. March 2017, November 2017, December 2017, January 2018, etc. But what he said, the island was untouched from March 27, November 3rd. But he miscalculated. He said I would have to time travel back to March 20. 2017. Now, this would not happen until Operation Legos Island 2022, ironically on the first day of that event. Wrong. Ally was active in March 2017, so I can time travel to March 31st, 2017. I'll be time traveling to then. Enjoy your- Yeah, nope, didn't happen. Freedom after live of Doom, no June 1st and November 2nd. I'll make sure your island never made it to the first anniversary. Of course. Yeah. You want to say that again five years later, bud? By Evil Club. That proves this is even more true. But of course, it doesn't end there. God, no. There was still so much we needed to go through. There's another comment I posted, which is this. What happened to traveling to back to November 3rd, 2017? I think that was better, but okay then. By the way, I already scheduled the event for the Evil Club attack on November 3rd. It will start November 3rd and end November 7th. It was extended by three days so we could actually get a few more time periods there. Officially ending on November 10th, the one year anniversary of Camp Island and the campsite respectively. Here's how I think it'll go, but this could change. On November 3rd, 2019, I will borrow the lab's time machine and go back in time to whatever day Evil Cook is going to and track him down. Also, just to make this good, I'll bring the dogs and cats from the pet cemetery with me. Now, this technically wouldn't technically occur till a few years later. Because we'll be in the past, I won't remove anything I built in the past few years, because if I did, it would take years to rebuild everything, and I don't want to do that. So I'll just cover up anything that didn't exist in the time I'm in. Yeah, and this still technically applies today, actually. Anything that's destroyed in the present will go back to normal if Evil Cluck is found and defeated. And that's exactly what would happen in all of these, if he, you know, is the one who was running the event at the time. If you're wondering why the event only lasts four days, it's because the campsite's one year anniversary is on November 10th, and the event for that starts on the 8th and ends the 11th. Also, I want to have the island normal for one day, November 7th. This will probably be the most custom event in Lego's island history. At the time it was. Actually, it may still be. 
But the welcome back party might actually beat that. This is after gonna, five years. Gonna be worth it. And Cool Kid 33 replied saying, "Yes, I'm gonna change it back, star." Yeah, that ended up actually being the thumbnail of this entire video. Ironically, not the look back video. I mean, the one we're watching now. But holy frick, the amount of stuff that ended up getting changed within this six month time period is insane. The fact that I have to consistently correct myself here is insane. I kind of love it because it really shows how much has changed in five years. And then I replied back saying, okay. Oh yeah, back when his icon was like that. It was like that for a while, actually. And then he replied back again saying, also, I was thinking, considering the event doesn't start till November 3rd, maybe you can, like, have Eel Cluck just start destroying thing. Destroying, please do. What are you going to do for the construction for the February 20? 21. Then I replied back with, yes, I'll do that. For the one in 20, February 2020, the island will split in half starting January 28, 2020, and some other kind of construction alongside that on February 1st, 2020. Now this would technically speaking be technically the construction for the time travel party that would occur exactly one year after the corruption. But the construction wouldn't be seen um, until and during the last few days of Operation Meltdown. That part confirms the one for February, but we're mainly- Yeah, that eventually did not happen until <clears throat> May of 2020, but more importantly, in September of 2020. Really focusing on the one for November. Let's see if there was any more evidence that proves that this is still real. Okay, I think this is the last part of it right here. In his first ever Saturday stories that Cool Care 33 ever made, it reads this. The only event Lego Froze I enjoy is Halloween and L.I. Summer. Also, if you're wondering why I keep changing the dates, well, April 2017 is obvious. The next page will explain it all. November 3rd, 2017. I decided to go with this after friendly hit to feed me during the underwater expedition. The only problem is time paradox. Lego Master 627 played on L.I. if the past and present self me, it will erase the past, causing the future one to disappear as, well, I want to be the only villain in the past. Also, the only reason Lego's Island got corrupted is due to the time travel party 2020. He sees himself on that, causing it to get corrupted. Well, yeah. Oh, you want to know how much wrong you were about that, Evil Cluck? The point of the time travel party was actually to time travel back to the original corruption exactly one year prior. None of this happened. Island did get corrupted back in February as well. Well, yes, it did get corrupted. Why do you think we held Operation Legos Island 2024 in February? It was clearly done on purpose for that reason. But also, thank, thank God it was, because, well, the island just randomly went away just one week after that. So, yeah. This evidence is wrong, but, but, in Operation Legos Island 2022, ironically, I think on, what was it? I think like one or two missions before the finale, we did eventually almost run into my past self. So technically, this did become a reality three years later in May of 2022. So... I guess I'm technically still right here. A lot of you remember, but what if we time traveled back to that day again on February 6, 2020, which is the one year anniversary of the island getting corrupted? And that's exactly what happened. Who knows what could happen there? And finally, but not least, I just replied with, wow, okay then. And guys, that's actually it. There's nothing else that confirms anything else regarding this. That's literally it. So guys, I guess we have a very special custom event coming to Lagos Island on November 3rd, 2019, which is exactly two years after I returned to the island for good. Also, you may have realized throughout me telling you all this stuff that I am not working on this event alone. No, this was the first event ever in Lagos Island history for me to not work on by myself. Nope, Cool Kid 33 has actually been helping me this whole time trying to put this event together with me. 
I know, how cool is that? This is actually the first event on Legos Island ever for oh, me. Oh dear God, that old YouTube play out. Holy frick, it has changed. Not to create a lot because all the time, it's always just me creating the events a lot. Yeah, and while us making events together has obviously slowed down over the years, probably for the better, um, it's still nice to create events together. But obviously, as you can tell, it has slowed down over the years. You know, it's been a while since we've really made something together legitimately. I said legitimately. Which is kind of the way I usually do it anyways. Yeah, but most of these events nowadays I just make by myself. And don't be surprised if you see that happen a lot more going forward. This time to have him join forces with me to actually create something this good is actually really incredible. And boy... Was it worth it? Because for the next five years after this, it would sure become something even greater. So I know this was revealed to you like um, six months early, but honestly, I think it was honestly the perfect opportunity to do it. The hype was real at the time, and we only got more info later on. Maybe in a future look back video, I might go through the rest of it just to show how much we got right and wrong. I'm not gonna do that right now, considering it's 10:46 at night. And I'm also pretty tired, but I just want to look back at the original reveal. We'll probably talk about like all of that at a later time. As honestly, as of right now, no other parts of this story for the event has been revealed at all. No, the next piece of info we would later get is in, I think, July during Legos Island summer. And then as like the months went on, like we got like more info up until like the event's release. So this was extremely interesting. And it's crazy to believe how Operation Legos Island did come into existence. Like and now five years later, we already did Operation Legos Island for 2024. And well, I feel good about that because <laughs> can't do that right now if we hadn't already done it. But five years later, the island is just straight up not here. Temporarily, that is. It's crazy how much can change in five years. Nothing else that we've done anything with it the yet. The fact that so much changed in this six month time frame is insane, as I said earlier. And also funny enough, as of right now, we have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea what to call this event. Yeah, again, uh, uh, Cool Guy 33 would later call it Operation Liquid Island, which was probably the most freaking genius name ever, because eventually that ended up becoming the name permanently. Like, I literally have no idea what to call this event at all. I have to think of a name over these next six months. Yeah, it did not take long at all, bud. So, with that being said... Also, dang, I only had 457 subscribers at the time? Holy frick! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see another Saturday story, of course there will obviously be another Saturday story next Saturday on May 25th, which I already have next week's story already planned out for you guys. It is, what do you guys want to see in Legos Island Summer two weeks from today? Because two weeks from today is- Oh, dude, we're like four weeks away until Legos Island Summer 2024. I really hope we have the island back by then. June 1st. So next week's story is about- We have to have the welcome back party before it all about the upcoming Legos Island summer. So, oh dude, I actually I'm at, I actually despite not having the island in my legitimate uh grasp outside of having a file on my computer, I can still work on events outside of the island being inaccessible. It's called this. Why do you think I've been getting so much of the welcome back party done without even having the actual island in my literal grasp right now? Yeah, be on the lookout for that next week on May 25th. Aside from that, guys, um, currently I can also just show you guys really quick what time it is really quick because I did say I was going to do Midnight Fun today, so... Oh, dude, now that school's over, I can actually do that series again. Like, I'm not even joking. Also, to clarify what time it is, it is 10.49 p.m., which is probably why I need to get this up as quick as possible. Currently, it is 11.02 p.m., um, now the deal with today's Midnight Fun video, I'm not going to make it too long. I think like literally after it hits midnight, I will end the video then for that. But I don't remember that if I actually made it that long. And 
heck if there was even one that night in the first place. Let me tell. I think that was later on May twentieth. I think. Oh yeah. I am going to make midnight fun today, and then after that, I'll take a few day break. Yeah, yep. now that uh, the whole school thing's over, I can actually do the series again, because, hey, guess what? I don't have to wake up early to go anywhere anymore. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm going to kind of mess it. I'm going to be honest. It was way too much fun. We'll see it in the Sunday vlog time. I've, I've already started getting used to not going there anymore. But boy, it does feel weird. For what day I'm doing. Aside from that, I'll see you guys there for that later. But then that'll officially be it for this. Yeah? But yeah, guys, like I said, that's all for this video. All right, and that is also it for this look back video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next look back video on Friday, May 10th. And hopefully we'll finally get back to looking back at the Minecraft book of the series. That was the original intention for this look back video, but Rose Crystal was doing stuff at the time. So I wasn't able to do it. Maybe finally on May 10th. But this was a nice little surprise for a look back video that I was never expecting to make. But hey, it only makes sense. We just hit five years. It only makes the most sense. Also to prove that I didn't forget about any of this. You're welcome.